Hello and welcome to Griddle Cooking with Chef Sherry Ronning. These are things that you do not want to do when you're cooking on your outdoor flat top griddle. No, you don't want to do this. Take it from me. I've been experienced in this and um, I've seen the different photographs in the group and the different Facebook groups out there and this is something that you do not want to do when you're cooking on your griddle. You have vinyl siding, do not cook up right next to the your griddle, right up next to the house. Ask me why. Because the, the one thing that we that I've learned over time when cooking on the griddle is the higher the heat that you have in here, the more residual heat that you're going to get from it. And the heat, there's the spaces here where the heat comes out and it will actually melt the siding on your house. So when you're cooking on your flat top griddle, pull it away from the house, pull it away from um, things that you know, have will be affected by the heat and you're just make sure that you protect whatever it is that you're cooking around so just make sure that you are looking around your space before you start cooking because the heat the wind will blow and I've actually had it to where the wind blows and it will will heat up the area next to it and it it, it won't be very good. So number one tip, do not cook up against your house. I'm forewarning you. Yeah. Another tip that I have for you is turn off the gas. Whenever you're done cooking, make sure to turn off the gas, not just the burners. And I've, I've had this um, that I've talked to other people about. They will just turn off the burners no you need to turn off the gas uh, as well as the burners because um it, that something may happen where yeah i i could tell you nightmare stories from that so make sure every time you're done cooking with your griddle turn off the gas as well as turning off all the burners that on your griddle so yep yeah. um let's see Another tip that I have for you that you do not want to forget this step. This, especially if you are a seasoned griddler or you, if you just got your griddle, um, make sure that you make one of these. This is just a tin piece of metal that um, my husband made for the griddle. And when we first started cooking on the griddle, we didn't have this. It didn't cover the grease trap hole and we got mice on our griddle and, and then we opened, pulled the lid off and we had mice droppings on our griddle. So make sure you have, we do have this one that we bought from uh, Blackstone products, but it, I don't think it's long enough um, that when we put it, this is just to cover the grease trap hole to make sure that you are, um, that things don't fall down the grease trap hole. But I recommend actually covering the hole during storage to make sure that you don't have critters on your, on your griddle. So one of the questions that I've had, I have posted this a few different times and uh, the question that I get is, what size am I using? So I have a 36 inch griddle, so the, the hole is rather big there. So I'm gonna just give you the dimensions of the, the tin piece that we've used. And so we've had our griddle uh, for about four years now, and um, the we had this, my husband made this shortly after we had the griddle. So, um, this is like four years old and it still works very well. So our the dimensions are four and a half inches wide by like three and a half inches tall. But there is this lip on here. So uh, with the lip, it's it's about like three fourths of an inch. So 
you're going to want about four inches tall and then just bend this over for the lip to hang it on. So let me give you the dimensions again. The, the tin, if you want to cut this, because I know I have people that have asked, they want to cut their own. So ours is four and a half inches by the tin piece that you're going to want to cut by four inches. So four and a half by four. And then fold down the little lip like that so that you can hang just like that. Works perfectly. We put the hardcover lid on the top, which holds it holds it in place there. And we have not had any problems with rodents getting on our griddle. So, another tip that you do not want to forget to do after you get done cooking on the griddle. Don't forget to clean your griddle. That is just gross. I hear people tell me all the time, you can eat, shut off your griddle, after after you get done cooking go in the house or go eat with your family enjoy your meal enjoy a hot meal but then enjoy the meal once you get done when you're cleaning up clean the griddle off completely clean the grease trap make sure to clean the grease trap every single time you're cooking on the griddle that is there's nothing worse that will attract um, bugs and rodents and all that kind of stuff and you do not want that uh, so clean that grease trap Clean the griddle, cover it, store it, per, 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 protect it from the elements, and you'll be good to go. This griddle will last you for years. I hope you enjoyed these tips, and if you have more tips that you would like to share with me and other fellow griddlers, please post them in the comments. I really like to see what other people have and have learned, because that helps me. That helps other people uh, learn what to do with their griddles and what not to do with their griddles. So remember, number one tip, don't cook up against the house, especially if you have vinyl siding. Don't want to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my page. Make sure to go to make sure to go to uh, mygriddlesecrets.com. You can find all kinds of griddle related products there. I have a website called from Michigan to the table.com and you can get all kinds of griddle recipes and all kinds of fun stuff there for you to cook with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you again next time. Bye.